And I don't know why I'm running for stay like my guys in first time. Alright folks. Today I'm gonna try to attempt to work on a Murray M2510 dual head weird. Alright, the problem is not wanting to run all the time. And I happen to notice and get everything situated here. And by the way, this is the fuel lines that I'm going to be putting on, and this, this is what I was fixing to tell you. But notice here, looks like I'm getting leakage around the fuel line here. So, I'm going to attempt to repair them. But I got a problem. My fuel tank's full of gas. I really don't know. I'm fixing to try to start this baby up and see if I can get some footage of her running and show y'all what it does. Um, I'm probably change those lines out today. Well, I think I'm going to change that line out before I do anything. Look at those pinch, y'all. That's my problem right there. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to change that out before I do anything. I'll find something put this gas in. I'll be right back, folks. All right, folks, I am back. Uh, had these two little screws right here. One here and one here. I right, took this tank off. And the only thing I got to do is take those two hoses right there off. And I'm going to temp with the needle nose right here. So, and there's new fuel lines out. I just, oh, that might work, but that doesn't look kind of small, so. I don't know, I might have to use this yellow one and cut it in half. And it, and it goes down in there pretty far, you see. So, I don't know. Hope I can do some good. Hey, Garfield, what you doing? You trying to come into my video? I'm going to try to attempt to set this up and uh, show y'all some of the stuff I'm going to do to it. Hope that's wide enough. Alright. If it ain't, I'm sorry folks. I'm gonna leave that green one alone and just tempt this other one just to make sure I got enough. Oh, yeah, that can come right off. And there's gonna be the long one in there. I really don't know how they got these in here. I might be able to screw it. It's gonna make it too short. inside I have no idea folks and just remember I have never done this before and I am not an expert It's like a, a filter type deal, where it looks. Now that's going to be a pain to get that out, folks. It's going to be a pain. Insulation off of it there. So now I gotta get the insulation out and 
looked like it pulled a hose or two. Yep, it did. See, left a piece in there. Yeah, the other one's still good. I think the green one's just a return line. And it seems to be good, folks. So hopefully, see something yeah, I know this blue one yeah blue one's way too little um, that might work dang it's gonna be tough folks it's gonna be tough wish I can get this green one off it, it does not want to turn Oh well, it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? That's how it goes. This is way too small to go in there. Turn this around a little bit more. I have no idea, folks. That's too small. This is way too big. Way too big. Right, I'm going to pause the video. Try to get this in there. And I'll be right back, folks. All right, folks, I just want to take a few minutes and show y'all this piece here. Let me get it to focus. It's got that little hole there on each side. And this little deal here just slides over it. And it looks just like that right there. And this hole's here. It just slides on the hose and it drops down in the tank to about right here. And it sucks the gas through there. I just want to show y'all that. Alright folks, it was very hard to get that sucker back up in here right here. But I managed. I'm going to try to show y'all what it looks like down in there. It floats down at the bottom. The other line looks pretty good. So I'm not going to mess with it right now. And you just take and slide this back in these holes here. Just like that right there. Yeah, Garfield, what do you want, huh? About lazy like Garfield. And he sneezes on me. Why is it with people sneezing on me? From a similar they sneeze on me. And cats sneeze on me. Alright, I'm just putting them back in like that. Uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. And try to focus too. So y'all won't be staring at a gas tank. Just going to screw these babies back in. And it's kind of snug. This thing does produce a lot of vibration. So you want to make sure you get them good and snug. No. Garbage falling out of can. Making ashes. It's not good around a can of gas. That's the only thing I can find to put it in, folks. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get my air hose and blow this out. Make sure it's good and clean. Uh, I looked at the air filter. The air filter is pretty good. So, let's go over to the shed here. I don't know how I'm going to do this and hold the camera, too. I should be a little bit more professional about this. Uh, I'm in the uh, cans, smashing cans. A whole bunch of junk here, folks. My air 
there are holes here. Alright, close your eyes. Well, not literally. I have to. Whoa. Oh, no. Folks, I just done something stupid. I got gas all over my camera. Sorry about that. Her nineteen dollar camera, not counting tax. Oh, well, she's clean, but I'm gonna blow a little bit more off right here, so I'm gonna hold my camera back, folks. Was the air compressor had to kick on, didn't it? All right, folks, I think I am good to go. God, I hope I guess didn't tore my camera up. Well, I can see myself through the lens there. I imagine it's going to tear up. I hope not. But anyway, folks, I'm going to put this camera off for a second, put some gas in there, and, uh, yeah, try to put that back in the air. That's the whole tank right there, what it held, folks. Alrighty, and I had this much left. And I think that's enough to do the green line if it messes up. Looks like it. But anyway, I'll be right back. Alright, folks, it didn't quite fill it back up. It's about three quarters. I, I accidentally spilled some on the ground trying to pour in there. But yeah, I think that's going to fix it, folks. There's the oil cap. Mix ethanol 10% fuel and oil mix. So yeah. But anyway, I'm going to get off here and try this thing, see if it's going to work. And uh, try to weed something right over there. And, uh, I get it working, I'll show y'all me wheating a little bit. All right. All right, so I couldn't get her to start. So I'm taking the spark plug out. Hmm. Yeah, I might need to clean her up a little bit. I like oil soaked. Hmm. Maybe flooding a little bit. What do y'all think? I don't know. Leave some comments down below, folks. I gotta get this baby started. Hmm. I'll be right back. Alright, folks, I put the weed ear up. I couldn't get it cranked. I took a little bub deal off and uh, got oil. I mean, not oil, but the gas mixture up into the bub. Tighten it back down. Started to run for a second. And then it quit. And then uh, kept on trying to pull it, choking and stuff, and uh, got a little bit of ether. I said, well, why not? You know, a little dab, not much. I even took, like you saw, took the spark plug out and stuff, cleaned it, put it back in there, shot a little ether to it, it'd run, but it's like it's not getting fuel. Like a, one of those little needle valves inside the carburetor stopped up or something. So I'm going to put that to the side for a little bit later on. It's getting hot out here. But I do have to uh, uh, go take my medicine and stuff and uh, check on my video. So folks, thank you for watching. Uh, share, subscribe, hit that like button and the sun's burning my head. Uh, now I got a dirty head. Well, folks, I got to get off here. It's getting hot and get tired. So, see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.